Hello, good day everyone. I am Ken Silambo from BSMA 3A. For today's video, we're going to answer one of the problem in the fundamentals of deformable bodies, particularly in the topic more circles. But before we start, we're going to know first what is more circles. A circle which is called Morse circle developed by German engineer Otto Mohr. Basically, Morse circle is a graphical representation of the transformation equation for plane stress problem. It is useful in visualizing the relationship between normal and shear stresses acting on a stress element at any desired orientation. And in Morse circles, we can establish coordinate axis where our normal axis will be positive at right and then share will be positive downward. And using more circles, we can calculate principal stresses, maximum shear stresses, and stresses on inclined planes. So okay, let's move on to the problem. So as you can see, this is problem 7.38. We have to solve this using more circles. So, for the given state of stress, we have to determine the normal and shearing stress after the element shown has been rotated through A, 25 degree clockwise, and then B, 10 degree counterclockwise. So, for the given, we have normal stress at X is equals to 0, and then normal stress at Y is equals to 8 KSI, and then our shear stress is equals to 5 KSI. Solution so average stress is equals to sigma x plus sigma y all over 2 is equals to 4 ksi. So here we have also our points now. At x we have 0 and negative 5 ksi and then at y we have 8 ksi and 5 ksi. And then for c we have 4 ksi and 0. And now to get our 2 theta p. So we have this tangent 2 theta p is equals to fx all over fc. So that is equals to 5 over 4, so it's equals to 1.25. And then transpose, no? So inverse tangent 1.25 is equals to 2 theta p is equals to 51.34 degree. And then so to get our r, so r is equals to the square root of fc squared plus fx squared. So equals to square root of 4 squared plus 5 squared and that is equals to 6.40 ksi. And now at A, we have given theta is equals to 25 degree clockwise. So therefore, our tau theta is equals to 50 degree. So phi is equals to 51.34 minus 50. So that is 1.34. So to get normal stress at X, we have sigma average minus R cos P. So substitute the given values. So therefore, our sigma X prime is equals to negative 2.40 KSI. So for the shear stress, we have R sine P. So substitute again. So therefore, our shear stress, we have 0 0.15 KSI. And then for our normal stress at Y, we have sigma average plus R cos P. So again, substitute now the given values. So therefore, our uh, sigma Y prime is equals to 10.40 KSI. So if we're going to plot our A, the graph is look like this. And now for B, we have given theta is equals to 10 degree counterclockwise. So therefore, our tau theta is equals to 20 degree. So phi is equals to 51.34 plus 20, so that is 71.34. And to get our normal stress at X, so we have sigma average minus R cos P, and then substitute the given values, so we have 1.95 KSI. And for our shear stress, we have R sine P, so again substitute the values, so we have 6.07 KSI. And now for our normal stress at Y, so we have sigma average plus R cos P. So again, no, substitute the values. So therefore, we have 6.05 KSI. And if we're going to plot again our B, our graph is look like this. So all in all, this is our answer for A, where our theta is equals to 25 degree clockwise. And then these are also our answer for B, where our theta is equals to 10 degree counterclockwise. So, that's all. I hope you learned. Thank you.